All right, everyone, just want to shoot another video real quick showing off uh, something I've been working on for a little bit. I've been trying to bring in new arcade builds, which have not made my kids the happiest because they've lost progress as I've been swapping out boards and cards. And so I just want to show off what I've been working on right now. Uh, obviously, most of the stuff I do, I'm hitting up the Quality Arcades build. Um, very happy with what they've done. I've got it back to it just being just the arcade sticks that you use for it. And the way that I've done this is I've now added in a second power switch. So those of you with the arcade system will know there's usually the one put right over here. I've got a second one over here. I'm going to turn that on. We're on HDMI 2. And this should. There we go. Booting into the quality arcades build. Now I have updated uh, the recall box version. I know they say not to do it, but as long as you have a keyboard and mouse or uh, something similar to something like this, it works out just fine as long as you can have a keyboard. And so then it will all just operate as usual. Any one of the controllers should work. And that's all that I had to worry about for that one. Uh, eventually I'll go through and show the, the guts of what I've been doing here. So we'll quickly do a shutdown on here. Grab the TV remote. And go into the menus here within the TV. I'm gonna go to HDMI 1. And this is actually gonna be using a Pi 4 build with a 512 gig card. The one my kids like. With this one right now, until I can get a new uh, USB 3.0 um, splitter, that's going to work with getting everything to work with both boards, um, Xbox controllers, arcade sticks, all that uh, together. Uh, right now this is going to be right off with just the, uh, the Xbox controllers. And then they're both using an audio splitter so they can both go through the same uh, amp down below. I think eventually I'm just going to get it going through uh, speaker or the TV audio going through the amp. And so the reason I like this one, and here I'll get this. Again, I have retractable wires in here for this. This just has more games from, let's say, Dreamcast, PlayStation, uh, just other games that aren't available on the Quality Arcades one. So I think the Quality Arcades build maybe has like, I think it's like 30 some Dreamcast games. Well, this is 153. I know doing this one handed holding the camera I can't really do the focus. Um, or I can just one. three games in this bad boy. Um, I even have another build with even more, which I'm hoping to get up and running soon as well. But yeah, so this has uh, a bunch of different games that are not on the Quality Arcades one. Uh, a lot of them you'll find there's the same amount, but there's just different options. A lot of PlayStation Portable games on here, there's 83 of them. Uh, regular PlayStation 132. I have another build that has over a thousand. It says more of the Scum VM, uh, 95 of them. And a lot more Sega CD compared to the 33. There's 114 here. Um, yeah, just wanted to kind of show that off. Like I said, once I get everything else uh, put together with the final piece to make it a easier just to go back and forth between the two. I'll show in the back what I did as far as uh, just the wire control layout uh, just so it doesn't look like a complete mess back there and it's even set and ready for when I do do another attempt at a PC build for the arcade. So yeah, any uh, questions again, if there's any games that you'd like to see on either of these builds, just leave a comment down below. Please like and follow, uh, subscribe, whatever. Um, 
and I'd be more than happy to shoot a video for you and kind of show off what the game, um, or whether or not the game is on there and how well it runs. So, um, yeah, have a good day. Thanks.